stomach hurts. When you see this, I probably have already seen the endocrinologist. I go for a bone density test. I'm tired, I'm worn out. I'm not scared of the surgery. Tell you a little bit about my story. I think I have, I'll get the name of it, but I feel really bad tonight. And usually it hits me harder at night. I just feel really nauseated, yucky. I don't really want to eat anything. My stomach hurts. I had to do a Zoom call with her first. Have a doctor who's making sure my blood works fine, which I mean by that is cholesterol, that kind of stuff. I think it's okay, but we'll find out soon. I'm kind of mad. And when that blood work came back, I had never seen so many red flags in my life. So the doctor nurse called and said the doctor was pleased with the blood blood work and that's all i've ever heard i learned like i had bad cholesterol which is okay just need to lose weight and eat better she said then i noticed hybrid blood cells high calcium in my blood well of course i'm gonna google and figure out what all this means when i googled about high calcium I learned about hyperparathyroidism. I was curious if I'd had any of this in my other blood work. And since we've moved around a lot, we lost some of my blood work from other doctors. Well, I found one 10 years ago. And it said high calcium. And it was flagged. And that level was 10.7, which is high. Probably what blew me off on that one was the fact the doctor had written a note saying my blood work labs looked great. Just take vitamin D supplement. Obviously it must have been low. It's another sign. And the other thing is my mother had died and I was still mourning her. I trusted the doctor. And then to top it off, Nally got sick a few months after that. That's a whole nother journey and all my family and friends know what that's about. But she's better now. Took a long time. So during that journey with her, I did go to some doctors, said I was okay, but my main concentration was our daughter. That's all I could focus on. When you see this, I probably have already seen the endocrinologist and I'll know more. My second appointment with this internal doctor was in February 1st. She said, okay, to running more tests. So she did that. I'm glad she did. My PTH is high. Had to get some more blood work done today and a 24 urine test. They're looking to see how my kidneys are doing and my calcium levels still in the PTH. So, and then on Thursday, I go for a bone density test. I'm very achy, I'm not sure what it'll show. I was told three things that I don't like. Being fit over 50, they don't do the surgery for women. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me because what I find fishy is that women who go through menopause, they develop this. So I found that very upsetting. And then the other thing is, I either have to have kidney issues going on or bone issues. And if I don't have either one, they're not, she's not gonna send me to the surgeon. I am um, obviously will not listen to her. But that's how I came about finding out I had this. If I had found out back in 2012, they had run more tests, probably wouldn't be having problems with my heart now. My bones and body wouldn't hurt like they hurt. I wouldn't be short-winded. I wouldn't be having GI issues. I wouldn't be fatigued. I'm tired, I'm worn out. The other thing I suffer from is nausea, real bad nausea. And I wouldn't have insomnia. On top of it, I got fatigue. Lord it is, but I've managed. Thank God I haven't had to work. So that has saved me. I'm not scared. I want people to realize I'm not scared. I'm not scared of the surgery. I'm scared of not having the surgery. Just get my life back. Get all our lives back. We've had our, since my mother passed away, it's been a roller coaster of a ride, but we've gotten through it. And then my goal is to go part-time work. I wanna go back to work. We'll see, you never know. But I wouldn't mind going part-time somewhere. I think I would enjoy just getting back into the workforce. I've been out for over 20 years.